Hey, and welcome to this introduction to the Upstream plugin for WordPress. Upstream is a project management plugin. I'm going to introduce you in just a couple of minutes to all the key features of Upstream. We are using all of the plugins and all of the extensions available for Upstream. If you want to take a test drive of all of these features, you can go to upstreamplugincom click on demo, and you'll be able to sign up for a demo site there. There is an admin area where you can make some tweaks and make some changes to the upstream projects. You'll see this on the left-hand side in the WordPress admin menu. However, we do intend upstream to be used from the front end of your WordPress site. And just like posts and pages, you can visit them on the front end of your site by clicking the view link here. And this is what Upstream looks like on the front end of your site. You'll see there is the black admin bar across the top of the screen, and you can use this to go back to the admin area of WordPress. We're looking at a single project. This one is called Designing a New Website, and we can see that it's marked as in progress. There are multiple projects on the demo site if you sign up for it. You'll be able to browse through three different projects to give you an idea of how it works. We're going to continue looking at this designing a new website project. On the left hand side, you can see different features available for the project. There is a timeline. If you've done a lot of project management before, you'll know this as a Gantt chart. And this is what the timeline looks like. It has all of the different tasks and milestones illustrated visually so you can see how long is remaining for each item. The next one down is the calendar. And this will visually show in a calendar format all of the tasks you have and when they're due. For example, we have a testing milestone and we have a task to set up a GitHub account. If you click on it, you'll see a pop-up with information about it, and you can click on edit to go and actually edit that particular task. As we go further down, we get into the specifics of the project. For example, there are milestones, tasks, bugs, and files that you can upload. As we go down, you'll see milestones and you'll see tasks. There are about 10 different tasks in here at the moment. If you click on the pencil icon, you'll be able to edit the details for each of them. And if you want to search and drill down to find a particular task, you can do that using the toggle filters area in the top right corner. You can search to find all the tasks assigned to a particular person or all the tasks with a particular status or you can search for tasks which are starting or ending in a particular uh, time frame. And as you go down, you'll see you have the option to add bugs if something is going wrong, or you can upload files that are associated with the project, or you can start a discussion related with the project as well. All of those items are summed up across the top of the screen. You'll be able to see milestones, there are four milestones that are open, one that's overdue, and you'll be able to see tasks as well. There are nine tasks open, one task is overdue, and one is closed. And underneath, you have all of the project details. You can see the time frame. You can see who is the project owner. You can see who are the users involved, and you can see how much of the project is complete. This 21% is automatically generated based on the tasks. Each of the tasks has a progress item. And when you update the progress on the tasks, it automatically adjusts to calculate the progress on the project as a whole. So that's a very quick overview of Upstream. We have many more videos on this channel that you can dig into to find out more about different parts of Upstream. And if you haven't taken it for a test drive yet, head over to upstreamplugincom slash demo and give Upstream a try and see if it's suitable for your WordPress project management needs.